cultural diversity is part of the South African identity and there's also diversity within the various cultural streams. The South African Indian Dance Alliance recognizes the importance of strengthening a sense of unity amongst performers and promoting the arts and the organization hosted a festival to promote this aim. I attended the gala opening and I'd like to share the experience with you. Durban's Playhouse Theatre hosted the inaugural Nritya Angan Festival of Indian Dance. As a South African, I feel proud of our rich cultural heritage and today it really is a privilege to be around people who have worked tirelessly over the years to keep our vibrant culture alive. The Mahendri Bharatanatyam Academy would perform a padam of Lord Ganesha and the artistic director Mahendri Krishangath was on hand for their final rehearsal. Why is it so important to keep our Indian culture and heritage alive in South Africa? I think it's important uh, for our children firstly to understand their roots, to understand where they come from and it helps us to identify ourselves with who we are. Kriya took the opportunity to discuss the significance of cultural heritage with Professor Surya Govinda. Through history we have a sense of time and time goes on and changes and things change as time goes on and things may go backwards and forwards and may develop or may evolve and I'm very excited about things evolving and being part of the new South Africa. How important is the creation of the South African Indian Dance Alliance? It's uniting a whole lot of different dance forms under Indian dance. You know, Indian dance is not just one thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just Bharatanatyam or Kathak or Bollywood or folk. Uh, it's actually a number of things and popular forms. You know, this is all part of the dance culture. Globally also, we will have a footprint and we, we are out there to show them what South African Indian dance is about. It's not only dance from India. Yeah. It is a South African Indian dance which has a different feel and a different look. The South African Indian Dance Alliance is the brainchild of renowned Kathak dancer Smita Maharaj. Let's get to know her a little bit better and find out what her vision and mission is for the Alliance. Smita, what are some of the goals that you have for this Alliance? We want to standardize dance in South Africa. We want to look at dance education, taking it to a higher level, to the university level. Tonight is the big opening night. What can we expect? I think it's going to be interesting to see different work from different schools and different gurus uh, presenting the students tonight. So I'm quite excited about that. While dance lovers met and mingled in the foyer, the dancers gathered to invoke the blessing of Lord Shiva on the performance. According to Hindu scripture, Lord Shiva recreated the world by dancing after its initial destruction. Once the lamps of the Arati Puja had been lit, well-known personality Kajal Bhagwandin opened the event. Saubona and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Tonight it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you to the inaugural South Africa Indian Dance Alliance event, the opening of the first Indian dance festival, Nritya Angan. All attention was then focused on the dancers. The history of Indian dance in South Africa was outlined by artistic director and historical researcher Vasugi Singh. To break the monotony of their very trying existence, almost slaves in this country, the indentured laborers, once they arrived home, sat around trees informally, built informal little platforms, and performed. And those performances were about the Mahabharata, 
the Ramayan in the Gita. <laughs> Dancer, historian and author Heather Parker Lewis traced the development of Indian dance back to its ancient origins. The history of Indian classical dance goes back 2000 years and it's the oldest classical dance form in the world with a continuous legacy that has been systematically documented over the millennia. Dance, however, is an evolving art form. It has been subject to many influences over the centuries, religious, historical, colonial, musical, political, social, and as such, the presentation has altered as well as the form. <laughs> Dance academies from across South Africa participated in the festival and their performances attest to the high standard of classical Indian dance in our country. This opportunity to celebrate the art form was appreciated by dancers and audience alike.